We're here in Cascade Locks now, and we've just uh, discovered some breaking news, been talking about it. Now there's a level three evacuation notice for the communities of Warrendale and Dodson. That is upgraded from a level one. Level three, of course, meaning leave now. In addition, I-84 between about Multnomah Falls all the way to 62 in both directions shut down due to poor visibility from the Eagle Creek fire. That fire broke out this weekend over Labor Day weekend is at about 3,200 or so acres as of our last update and is 0% contained. Right now I'm joined here by Lieutenant Damon Simmons. He's the point person for the Eagle Creek fire. And Damon, what can you tell us about the firefight right now? So this fire today, it really increased in size. And the reason for that is that we had that east wind come through that we were concerned about. That came through and it started pushing the fire to the west. And that, that's what's threatening those two communities right now. Um, so those two communities are in, on an increased evacuation level. Uh, Cascade Locks is on an increased evacuation level. This fire is really concerning us right now. And it's, it's a matter of, of trying to get a hold of it while we can here and, and making any impact we can. But this wind is, is not helping our case. How long do you expect this wind to continue for? You know, the wind is, is dying down a little now, so uh, we're hopeful that it'll stay that way. Uh, but, you know, reports that we've seen said it may continue through tomorrow morning. Our, we're, our hope is that it's just going to kind of quit now. And I know that you said that crews right now are really trying to get a handle on this fire. What additional crews have you sent to the fire line? I know not too long ago I saw a pretty long line of trucks headed that direction. Yeah, we just sent two additional task forces. That's five engines in each task force um, up towards the fire to, to do point protection around structures. Um, also, uh, Forest Service resources, ODF resources are in there working to protect structures and working to keep that fire contained as best we can. Uh, when we got winds like that, though, it's, it's, it's giving us spot fires that are, that are moving out. Do you have additional air support as well? We've got as much air support as we can, as we can get in there. Uh, it's a matter of what the fire is doing, but they're, they're flying as long as they can up there and, and making a big impact. Okay, and uh, what would you want to make sure that the communities of Warrendale and Dodson know? I mean, obviously we can't stress enough that it is under a level three evacuation, which means get out now. The biggest thing is that we, we really do want them to evacuate, and, and that gives the firefighters the opportunity to really take care of their structures. Um, life is our biggest priority, so if you're there, we're going to do our best to save you. But if, if you're gone, then we can focus on saving your homes. Okay, thank you again, Lieutenant Damon Simmons, the point person rather for the Eagle Creek fire will continue to monitor the situation here, which continues to develop. We got those updates within, gosh, 10 or 15 minutes of each other. So things are changing rapidly out here in Cascade Locks and the surrounding areas. Nina, Joe? Yeah, it sure sounds like it. Okay, Christine, we will continue to be in touch. Thank you.